What's going on guys, my name is Hydros and welcome back to some more My Hero Ultra Impact and today I'm going to tell you guys what you should be doing in game right now in order to get some free items as well as free gems that way you can be saving up for the brand new URW coming out on March 15th. Now before we go in and get started though make sure you guys go down there click that red subscribe button make sure it says subscribe to the channel click that bell turn on all notifications to miss on any future videos as well as drop a like down below on today's video if you guys do enjoy and comment hashtag free gems if you love free gems as well as helping out in the algorithm as well. So yes, here today we're going to talk about how you can get some free items, some free gems, and if you want to save up for that UR Dobby, that's going to come in handy for you, as well as some other things here and there that you should be doing in-game right now, because there are good times to be farming some of these things as well. So first of all, we're going to go to the missions tab, because in these special missions, you're going to be able to get a lot of free items, as well as some free gems, as you can see here, complete the gear shop, uh, you know, do stages with certain characters on your rotation, on your main team, I uh, do USJ for hire. You don't have to three star this. All you have to do is complete it. So don't worry about three starring it, two starring it, one starring it. Just complete it. Just beat the level and that should complete it and get you the gems. And then also you can see here, try USJ fire zone, blah, blah, blah. When you're doing these, try USJ fire zone 10 times. What you're going to want to do is go into the event and then forfeit because that does not use your attempts. So I'm going to do this one right here. We're going to do try USJ fire zone 10 times. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt it real quick just to show you guys what I mean. So we're going to go into level four and we're just going to go ahead and select guest. And then we're just going to choose one. And then I'm just going to choose a random team. Sure. Yep. Don't, don't really care. We're going to go into it, right? So as you can see, you have to try it 10 times. This is how you can actually cheese this mission out. So I'm just going to go to menu forfeit forfeit boom when you forfeit it does not use your try and it gives it back to you so as you can see here six tries still left and i have not done that so let's go ahead and go back to the mission it should say one of ten now so let's go ahead and go back here and it should be right there yep one out of ten so just be aware of that you only have to do this by forfeiting the match it counts 100 percent of the time that way you're not using up all your tries every day so when you're doing try USJ fire zone, try landslide, try enforcing new simulation joint, blah, blah, blah. Whenever you see these, you can actually go in forfeit and it counts as the try. So that way you don't use up your tries. So that's a, a little he hefty tip right there for you guys as well. And also, yeah, complete difficulties. You're going to get some free silver tickets, some of the memory EX items and the character EX auto skill items. And again, gems, 240 gems, two silver tickets, a couple of the gold uh, memory items as well for your EX auto skills. And then also some other items along the way, training items, advancement items. As you can see, I've already gotten one. Uh, and stuff like that. So this is where you're going to be getting a few free items and a good amount of free gems, at least almost half a multi. So you're going to have 240 gems. That's pretty good. Save up those for Dobby. Save up those silver tickets for Dobby. Make sure you're also doing your dailies. That way you get those gems as well as some stamina and all that good stuff. And also then you have your normal missions that you can complete throughout playing the game as well. So onward from that, we're going to go ahead and go to our quest tab because here, as you can see, you can see earn extra medals in VE tower currently from March 9th to March 16th. VE tower has times two drops up right now. So if you want to get those extra bit of points, that way you can go to the gear shop, buy your USJ all might buy your silver tickets, buy items, your limit breaker, URs, whatever you want to buy with it, right? Now is the time to be farming VE tower. Make sure you're doing that every single day. That way you do all three tries in order to get your free medals and extra medals throughout the times two drops. While times two drop is active for VE tower. Right now, I would recommend if you want to spend a little bit of money, I believe it's what, five bucks, four ninety nine, three ninety nine, whatever it is, the extra tries per day, buy the VE Tower one. Get those extra tries per day so you have six tries per day instead of the three. That way you have those six tries and then you're going to be able to then farm up a lot more of these medals by doing these. So again, if you really want to spend some money, get a little bit of extra bang for your buck. Right now is the time to where you're going to want to be farming VE Tower and the times two drops with the extra tries per day is going to come in handy for farming up that gear shop item, right? So when you're farming the gear shop and you want to spend your gems or your VE Tower currency on this, the All Might, I would say, is the one to go for. Uh, the memories aren't that fantastic, but uh, so I would go for the All Might first. Uh, now, first of all, obviously get the recruit tickets because that's going to be most useful to you, especially with Dobby coming. So get your recruit tickets. Uh, All Might, again, being the first prize after that I would go for. He's at least semi-decent in the game. 
and then also go for his shards. You can get free Limit Breaker URSR if you really need those. Obviously, you can get a lot of these items as you're playing the game and stuff like that. You got training items and stuff as well. So that's going to be the case for that. Again, just to reiterate, times two drops on VE Tower from 9th to the 16th. And if you really want to spend a little bit of extra money to get a little bit of extra medals during the times two drops, get the extra tries per day for VE Tower. That can actually help you out quite a bit for getting that currency, right? So there's that. So some other things that are going to be coming up on main quests. Main quests are going to have times two drops from March 11th through March 13th. So that's going to be coming up in a few days, actually tomorrow. So main quest here, that's going to be a good time to farm up your ability board. Save your stamina for that. Don't be wasting stamina right now. Wait for main quest times two drops to drop tomorrow. And then you're going to be able to farm up those ability board items easier as well. Dispatch rewards. So if you go down here to home and we go to the dispatch tab right here where you go ahead and send your characters on like little adventures, there's going to be times two rewards for that. That's going to be dropping from March 16th to the 23rd. And then your hero base, you're going to get 1.5 times the reward. So you're going to get a little extra bit of from that. That you're going to be able to get that from March 16th through the 23rd. And then the main quests again are going to get times two drops on the 23rd through the 28th. So we're going to be getting a lot of times two drops from the main quest coming up. So again, from the 11th through the 13th and then the 23rd to the 28th main quest is going to have times two drops and that's going to be super important, right? Again, you can find out all this information in the discord down below, link to it, join it, have fun. And then also again, the VE tower missions, uh, you're going to, you know, make sure you're completing those. Make sure you're completing your special missions and stuff like that. Do your VE tower times two drops right now. VE tower best time to be farming it is right now. Best, best, best time. Recommend you do it right now because that's the <laughs> VE tower. I mean, times two. <laughs> if you really want to get that all might, especially because there is a mission here. Complete seven, three hard without skipping with an all might and Gran Torino as regulars. Now there is a free All Might in the game. It's a blue SR All Might, but he has not come out on global yet because the event ran on JP back when the Air Force Deku came out, like when the game first came out. So that All Might hasn't come back yet. So that free All Might isn't available to everybody. So you're not gonna be able to use that free SR All Might. Uh, either you need to get the VE Tower All Might or the red UR All Might, which the red UR All Might is a summonable. So if you don't have him, uh, I recommend doing VE Tower right now. That way you can get that free All Might to use on this mission. And also just because it's a free All Might, it's free character, right? Free characters are awesome. But either way, uh, that's how you're going to be able to complete that one. That one may be the hardest for some people, especially a lot of the free to play players that don't maybe have the UR All Might handy for them. So that's uh, that's where that's going to come in handy. Again, you can either you can use the red uh, you can use the red UR All Might. You can use the yellow UR All Might. For JP players, they can use the free blue ESR All Might, but until that comes out for global, they don't have that available to them. That is what it is, right? So again, this would be the only mission that I see is the most difficult for some players. But again, that's how you're going to be able to get some free gems as well as a lot of free items in the game. Also, the storm incoming event is leaving in 13 hours at the time I'm recording this video. So make sure you're doing that uh, for your final boss tickets. Make sure you're getting as much as you can in because that free Kami is going to be going away soon. Make sure you farm her up completely. And that is pretty much it, guys. Make sure, again, you're saving your stamina for times two drops. Do your special missions to get all those free gems. Dobby is going to be coming out on the 15th of March. We're going to have all his, inf his information and kit details once he does release. We're going to do some summons on the channel. So if you're hyped for that, let me know down in the comments down below. If you guys are enjoying the game, let me know down in the comments down below. And as well as, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Click that bell, turn on all notifications, drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day.